Howdy. Check out this video about making pipe networks, alignments, profiles, profile views, and how to manipulate them, edit them, and then data shortcut them out into other drawings. Hope this video teaches you some, something new today. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'll bring up my little tool palette over here and it doesn't look like there's any pipe networks in here. So the two ways you can make pipe networks are you can make a polyline and you can click on it and you can, there's one that says under the home tab, pipe network, create pipe network from object. Mm -hmm. That's one way to do it. But when you only have a couple pipes, I wouldn't even bother with that. I would literally just come in here, go to create pipe network by layout. You, I guess you could also right click create pipe network from object right there. But for this, I'm just gonna do create pipe network from layout. Yeah. And then I'll just call this proposed storm. I have the right network part. I'll yeah. put this on, I guess you don't really have a finished grade. Oh, I, I had bond, bottom, final. I mean, I guess uh, you can kind of uh, use the, the end ram uh, and yeah, end ram. Okay. One word, final end ram. And actually, what I often do is um, I'll come in here and I'll make another surface, and I'll call I'll call this uh, FG plus EG. Turn it off. This just makes sure that if I'm drawing something outside of my proposed surface, that it will get picked up by the existing surface. Mm -hmm. And I'll just first I'll paste my existing, and then I'll paste my pond. Uh, right there. Or so you can kind of see I'll hover here and see what it says. And you can see three, it gives you the same 314, but if I'm out here, it gives me the existing grade. Okay. Yeah, the full grade. So then I'll come back, pipe network, create that pipe network, post storm. Yeah. You don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I like to do it. Okay. And then this is where I'd come in, um, manhole type. So there's three types of manholes, one, two, and three. Um, I usually start with a manhole type one. Mm -hmm. And you have a 24 inch pipe, so I might even consider a 60 inch structure here. I'm gonna just put in a 48 to start. Um, that's probably about the smallest structure you wanna do for this size. So we talked about putting it like right here, right? Uh, a good place to put it, it is probably in the, yes, probably yeah. in the, maybe in somewhere the, inside that, uh, I want to put it inside the, the, the access row. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I'll put it right there. And I'm gonna change, go to here and change this to, I usually just do concrete pipe. Um, and the reason you just do concrete is because um, it's gonna give you the, a really big, uh, thickness, so you're gonna be a little bit conservative with like, uh, you know, any crossings you might have or anything. Okay. So, and it, you can see I, ha I still have manhole yes, yes, selected. Like so I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that. Oh, you can delete that? Okay. Uh, I thought I was doing like, a, you have to use some type of null structure with you. You could do a null structure, but you don't yeah, have I to. I like this better. The nice thing about null structures, I'm just gonna undo. Say I come in here and I, I put another thing in here. If this is a null structure, um, I can now move, you know, and they both move with it. Mm -hmm. But if, if I don't have a structure in here, then I have no way to snap both of these, right? I have to like kind of click in here and click both, you know, it's like a little bit clunkier. So yeah. that's one thing. Yeah, I, I like this without, without knowledge. So I think this is just perfect. And then here, so it looks like, I mean. Yeah, this one is 18 inches outgoing pipe, uh, maybe 60 is sort of beyond that one too. Maybe do 18 here. I don't know if are you could have a pipe going from here to here. Yeah, there's a one. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a right now there's an eight, 18 inch pipe. Oh, eight you inch pipe to, right here. Yeah. yeah but this, you see how um it's going, it looks like the bottom's right there. Yeah, bottom will be, that is 14. We have to put like 15 inch. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to swap this part out. I'm going to make this uh 72 inch. You can see I can't yes. even make it bigger than a, so I want to make this type three. Into, and yeah. a type, I guess I'll show you the difference between a type. So a type, uh, a type three doesn't have, mm -hmm. see this whole, this whole structure is, um, like a giant cylinder. Yeah. Not like a conical. There's no cone. Yeah. On the top. And that's, that's the difference between a type one and a type three. The type, uh, type one has that cone at the top. You can kind of see that. Yeah. I, I, I think that, yeah, that, that, that is for the, yeah, the first one. I think that's, that's fine. The second one probably without cone is, uh, good. Okay. All right. The next yeah. part. So I got these in here and we can adjust the elevations and everything later, but the next thing to do, um, is to put in our profile and profile view. So there's three things, three little, um, definitions to know. So first thing, the alignment is, basically where do I want to pull the surface from? Like where do I want to pull elevations from along my surface? So I'm going to start all the way back here actually. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you want to be pretty close. So I could snap it to these if I have one or two. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm gonna just follow the flow path of where I think it's gonna go. So I'll go right to here, and then I'm gonna follow here, right down the middle. Mm -hmm. And then click here, and I'm gonna have it go out right here. Okay, so this is just a polyline. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. create alignment from objects. So again, this is alignment is basically I'm making a, pro, a I'm making a profile or a profile view. Where is it going to pull that surface from? Where is it going to pull those elevations from? So click enter, and it'll it first ask you. You can see that little arrow right there. Which direction mm -hmm. does it want to go? Yeah. And so I can say this direction, which is what I want to do. I want to go upstream to downstream. But if it was the wrong direction, you could click reverse right here, mm -hmm. and it would flip. So I'll show you what happens if you flip it. That doesn't actually do anything. But I'm just going to call this. Um, uh, Pond align, and I'll erase that. So do I erase my existing line? I'm gonna say yes. So here we go. I got my alignment. You can see it's actually going from high to low, which is not what I want. I actually want it to go the other direction because um, I hit that reverse button. So to flip that, you can always back. You can always change it. I click on my alignment and go to modify and reverse direction right here. So, all right. So the next step. So I made my alignment. Now I want to do what's called making a surface. And basically, you're connecting your, or it's called making a profile, which is what you are basically connecting your surface to your alignment. And so here's my pond alignment. I only have one alignment. If I had multiple, there'd be more listed in this list. Click on that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hit my existing in here and I'll make sure the style is right. You can change this later, but it's kind of a pain to change it later. So click this, I could you know change it to whatever I wanted. And then your other one, pond, bottom, final. I add that in, I'm gonna change that style to design profile. Sometimes you might have like a groundwater elevation one in here, and you might add that in as a different color. Um, and then draw a profile view. So now I'm doing what's called a profile view, and not to be confused with a profile. Profile view is basically what you see on your plan set. You know, it's the actual, um, it's that the profile and the along the alignment and the way you want it to show on your plan. So I'm just gonna hit. I'm not even gonna add anything in here. I'm just gonna hit create profile view. And I'm gonna draw this in right here. Um, and then a nice thing you can do, you can go to view, and then this might be hard on your tablet. But you can go to, if you have two views, you can kind of zoom in here and you can kind of see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I can click on my profile view and I can click this button, which is a uh, station tracker. So now I can kind of see where I'm right here. That tells me exactly where I am. You know, I'm moving along my alignment and going this way and kind of see, you can see that little line on the bottom and it tells you exactly where you are. So you're like, oh, I should, I should be seeing a pipe right here. Where is it? So you have to actually click on the pipes, um, right click, draw parts and profile view. There we go. And you're like, ah, that pipe is not the right elevation. I don't like that where that's located. Like, why is that so bad? I can actually click on here. I can adjust these pipe elevations on the actual plan profile view. So it's really a good way to adjust your pipes. And this one, you could probably even have like flat, you know? Yeah. Because I probably want to bring this one a little higher. Which one is, is just a second, uh, the outgoing uh, manual or the incoming one? That's the outgoing. So okay. you probably want to have an existing pipe in here too, right? I can even see that, you know, it gives me like, so I'm going to go back to my uh, base. I'm going to draw another pipe network in here. I'm going to call this one existing storm. I'm going to change this to existing storm sewer. Surface name, make sure this one's existing here, not proposed. Mm -hmm. Hit okay. And now I'm going to draw this one. Was this a tw uh, 18 inch coming out, I think? Uh, you mean uh, from where? From okay. coming, going out from that manual is 18 inch. So I'm gonna, I think this is a 20, it's a 48. I'm going to draw this right here. And I'm going to draw this to, I don't even know, we'll just make it up here. Here you go. Delete this existing pipe. And then I can come in here. And if I turn my properties on, I can actually just adjust the elevation exactly the way I want. I don't know what this exactly is, but um, you see it's way off here. Start elevation 0. 0.75. So I'm going to change this to, what is it? 314.82. And I, I'm just going to throw in another one here, 314.72. So I got half a percent slope. That sounds good to me. Okay, then I'm going to add this in here. I'm actually going to right click, draw part. I'm going to put these in here too and just see where it shows up. This is a good check. Oh, you can see that needs to be fixed. And the reason that's so bad is that if I had that pipe in there at, you know, 0.75 or whatever, you know, clearly wasn't yeah, right. Sorry doesn't, yeah, sorry doesn't extend it outside of that. Yeah, you can see exactly where it's ending right here. I mean, the, prof the profile because I hear, but here's where the surface survey ends. Mm -hmm. So if I had GIS, more more surface data from GIS, I could add that in here too if I wanted to. I don't think we need it for this, but if you decide you need it, I can I can show you how to do that. So you can see this is this will work fine. You know, we're coming in above. I can even make this a little bit lower if I want, but probably do something like this. Maybe maybe have like a foot difference from in to out. I don't know. This is where the this is where I'm gonna have that these guys, you know. Yeah, that, uh, 
Exactly. Okay, so I think that works pretty good. Um, and actually, I might even want to make this a little bit lower. So you have to draw that case uh, manually. That'll be manual, but don't you don't need to worry about that. That uh, Ron will draw that in on his on his okay. plan sheets. So let's get the existing one in here. I, I have a feeling that's going to be a sixty inch coming in. And actually, you know, I should probably put another. I'm going to go back to my uh, existing storm here. So I right click on this edit network. I'm going to add in. And this is a thirty inch. East. So I'm going to start because I don't really know what these are. So I'll go to, I'll start with a 30 inch coming in here. And this will be a 48 inch existing. And I'll change this to a 24 inch coming in. I'll draw this to right here, roughly. And let's see what, I don't even know if I know that elevation here. Yeah, and these are way wrong, right? Negative one, negative one. So this is 31655. So that's my start. It's a 316.55 as well. So we might end 316.55. And then I think this is a really flat pipe. I remember it being super flat. I don't yeah. know exactly. I'm just going to call this 316.65. That's probably close to what it's right. And then I don't, I don't know what this one is coming in here. I'm just call it, call it 316 for now. And we can actually probably hover, hover right here and see what the existing elevation is. I can't actually see it here. Um, cause I got too many other surfaces on. Yeah, I think I had a big cut point from Topo. I think it's on those plan sheets. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It's... I think that is... Uh, 3... 16.558. Okay. Let's call that. So I got 316. Point, that can't be right. On the plans, it says 316.01. So I'm going to go with that. It doesn't really matter because we're replacing this, but it, it's just kind of our visuals. So you can see that kind of looks sort of right. I mean, you can see where, where it's coming in. I mean, I could theoretically move. If I'm, if I move this line here, just kind of get a better sense. You can kind of see, does that look right where I'm coming in? You know, it's probably maybe a little bit higher, but it's probably about there. That looks about right. Yeah, it's, it's just coming into the existing ground. Okay, then I'm going to add, I'm going to add these. This structure looks actually quite a bit bigger than I thought. This might be it. I'm going to swap this. I think this is a 60 inch, looks like. I'm going to draw, draw all these parts in my profile view. Okay, and you can see it doesn't look right. And I wonder why that is. Oh, you know, the reason is, you gotta make this is something you gotta check for. If you if your pipe goes past the end of your alignment, it mm -hmm. will get totally confused. And that's what's happening here. So I'm gonna extend this alignment a little ways here. There you go. So you can kind of see water's coming through here. It's coming through, and then we're putting a new structure in, which is way too deep. Still seems pretty deep, but it seems like it works. But this is essentially what you're looking at, you know, something like this. All right, so then what you do next, this is the next step. So yeah, there's a bunch of steps to this. I didn't realize how much there is to do this. And then what you do is you do, because Ron is going to need to pull all this data into his into his pipe network. Um, I would actually, if I were you, I would probably make a new a new surface. And I just call it uh, FG or, uh, yeah, just call it FG for finished grade. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could even call it, yeah, I think that's probably good, FG. And that's going to be the one that you're going to be, re you're going to be, uh, sending out like you're gonna be data shortcutting out. Um, so I'm gonna paste This is the one you wanted right the pond bottom final. Okay, here we go yeah, and, uh, and ramp. So yeah, I, think I, have to, I have to freeze all the other those intermediate surface and care not to make confused. They're like five different pop-up Well, it's okay. Like so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna create what is this? Oh, I'm in a different project here Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to a, a data shortcut folder within that file uh, which is gonna be so you go to design, civil 3D, and go to data shortcuts. And you select folder. And so this is going to be our data shortcuts folder. And you can see there's already one referenced in here. Um, and this is coming out of this, the topo file. But basically what a data shortcuts folder is, is it's any data that you want to, any like civil 3D data that you want to export out of your, of your file that other people can use in their drawings. So we'll, what we'll, you can have like 20 surfaces in your drawing, but you'll, you only have one that you export out. And so no one's going to see all the other stuff in here. They're just going to see what you export out. So you're sort of choosing what you want them to look at. So I'm going to go create data shortcut here and see, it's giving me all the options of stuff I can, I can data shortcut out. None of them are checked right now, but what I would do if I were you, I'd go surfaces. I don't want all those, but I just pick FG and then I wouldn't even do any other ones. Cause that's the only one you want to export out. And then for alignments, I click this and this, so this is going to export that pond alignment we made. And then it's going to export those profiles that we made as well. So, um, yeah, basically it's going to be less stuff that, uh, 
that rod that Ron has to pull in. And then pipe networks, I'd export both of these as well. And so I'm gonna hit okay. And now on my data shortcuts on the alignments, someone else can bring these into their drawings. Um, so basically I can just save, save this drawing and I'll show you what basically what I can do here. So, so go back to, I'm not sure my projects on Vista design, or right, I want to make another copy, Let's copy two. So here, this is the one I just copied, right? So it doesn't have those pipe networks in it. It doesn't have that alignment, yeah. but I'm going to go in to the data shortcuts folder and I can and make sure I'm in the right working folder and I can just bring that in here. You know, I can, I'll bring it in as the right style, pro storm sewer and voila, it's right there. Perfect. And existing storm, same exact thing. I can just do, do it and I can bring that alignment in. Um, and just, there's my alignment. I have, I'll have to create a profile view, but I can easily create a profile view from that alignment and surface that I already have. Upon alignment, create profile view, voila. And I guess I need to, let's see, did these come in with them? I thought they came in. Maybe I didn't add in the, I just must not have added the profiles. There we go. I guess I didn't bring everything in here. So you can kind of see, I got way too many labels yeah. in here. You can see the style isn't right either. I didn't do a very good job bringing this in, but here's my two profiles and my existing actually isn't the right style. I'd come in here and I'd change this to existing profile. And then there we go. You can kind of see the exact same thing. And I, I'd still need to bring these onto my profile view, but the data is all from a different drawing. And so if I go back to my other drawing and I change something, then I'll save it and it'll get trickled downstream into this drawing. So this is basically what Ron is going to do is he's going to take your data and just export it into a new drawing and then he'll make it look pretty and you can just work on the design. That's basically how what we do. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos. Please let me know what you think of my content below. Have a great day.